Hi everybody, Steve here again. Welcome to Monday Morning Musings. We're going to continue on about the idea of incarnational truth. Picking up on where we left last time about John 3, 21 and John 3, 17 about God sending a son. The world is not waiting for a better informed Bible encyclopedia. St. Paul said the world is waiting for the evidencing, the manifestation of sons of God. Not untransformed, biblically uh, packed people, but people who look like and resemble the firstborn of many brethren. God, in the Old Covenant, when, when he sent information via the tablets, it didn't work. The main difference between the Old and the New is that in the New, he leads with relationship. A beloved son. God sent a beloved son. Someone who resembled him. That beloved son took on our form. He felt our pain. Uh, the scripture calls it, he became a high priest. Saints, I'm, I'm emphasizing this because I just don't see it very much in Western Protestantism. The idea of identification and priesthood is just left out in the typical Protestant uh, message. I have actually had so-called uh, leaders tell me that what I'm espousing to you today is error because we don't have to feel what people feel. We don't have to identify them. Our job is just to deliver the Bible to them. The Bible has, well, that's what Luther taught, and I understand where that came from, but I'm done with that, and I hope you are too. This world is not waiting for another sermon. Think about it. If, 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 if all this world needed to be transformed, or our culture needed, was a better sermon, we have sermons thousands every week. The airwaves are saturated with information, but what's missing is someone who's willing to identify with another human before they start presenting Bible info to them. Listen carefully to me. You cannot read, in another human being, I'm talking about our relationships with another human being, you cannot reach someone with reason until you have dealt with their pain. Everybody has pain. Everybody has damage. And when we, other people, are operating or responding to the world through their filter of pain, we think that we, if, we just, if we just bash that down with Bible truth, oh, we're doing Jesus a favor, we're working for Jesus, we're preaching the kingdom, oh, no, no. You have to identify with people. Identify with them. Heal them. Bring the kingdom of Jesus to people. Not just kingdom information. Bring healing to them. Let them find in this relationally alienated and lonely world, let them find another soul who cares. Let them, let them know that to the, to the degree that's possible for one human being to feel another, that, you're, that you are sorry for their pain. That you know what it's like to hurt. Jesus knows what it's like to be one of us. That's why he could teach us with authority. And my premise is that's what's missing in Western Christianity. We have a lot of Bible info, but nobody is really delivering with authority. They're not truthing it because your average Christian thinks all they have to do is study the Bible and they don't have to touch you at a human level. What about carry one another's burdens? What, does that just apply to the community of faith? Doesn't apply to our neighbors? We just gotta, we just gotta bring the word to them, brother. Bring the word to them. The word, the word, the word. Well, listen, Jesus is the word. And the way we bring the word to them is we bring Jesus to them. Not information about Jesus. The gospel is not about mastering content. The gospel is about being a different type of human being, reaching damaged humanity. The gospel is about you and I being priests, representing God to people and representing people to God. And I'm convinced the real gospel, an incarnational gospel, a gospel contained in people who are, who are carrying a message and putting out an aroma. And we will talk about that in the next episode. See you then.